Hi everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. And this is going to be a message for Aquarius. Any major Aquarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Aquarius, we gotta remember timing and energy is fluid. This reading could play out at any point in time. This reading may or may not be for you. So please only take with you the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. And let's jump in, Aqua, and see what kind of a message needs to come through for you. What does spirit need you to know, Aquarius, when it comes to these energies? Firecracker. Ooh, I think get ready for something to explode. I think somebody definitely thinks very highly of you. And there's going to be an exciting turn of events. Something about the month of October. You could be dealing with somebody born in October. Something about the fall. Something you've been dealing with since about October. Either way, somebody definitely thinks very highly of you, holds you in high regard. And, and I kind of think, you know, maybe you've been facing some major challenges. You might have some challenges ahead to, uh, you know, to overcome. But I kind of feel, you know, you're going through a period of spiritual development, enlightenment. A lot of spiritual awareness and understanding has been coming forward. Maybe you've been sifting through this enlightenment since last October. But either way, get ready for the birth or the conception of a child or an enterprise. This is going to lead to a higher level of commitment. I think you've got a lot of spiritual protection around you, Aquarius. And I think a new romantic partnership is on the horizon. And maybe the two of you will start a business together. Birth or conception of an enterprise. I think get ready for a lot of enlightenment. A, a lot of excitement. I think this is coming in very, very quickly. I don't think you're going to expect this. And maybe this is going to create some challenges that you're going to need to overcome. But I think something about October. Maybe this new energy coming in will lead to a marriage or an engagement by the fall. Maybe you'll be getting married in October. I'm not really sure. But I think you've got a lot of angelic guidance and protection in and around you. You could be dealing with an older woman. You could be this older woman. Either way, I think, you know, you've been recovering from a major loss is kind of what I'm feeling. Getting ready to birth something new. Yeah, definitely some obstacles ahead when it comes to a loving connection trying to come forward. There's going to be a lot of intimacy here between you and another. And I don't think you're gonna see this coming. So let's see what else needs to come through for you, Aquarius. Fear, rebirth energy with that bunny. So somebody's working through some fear. Maybe fear of coming forward. Uh, I think you've got a deep attachment here. Um, maybe somebody is having to pack up and move homes before they can come towards you. There's definitely some grieving over a loss when it comes to maybe a karmic attachment. Oh my God, yeah, definitely a negative attachment here with the unhealthy patterns and attached. So somebody's been attached to something very unhealthy, whether this is a person, an addiction, um, codependency of some sort. There's definitely an ending here, the death of a very toxic karmic attachment. And I think somebody, you know, has had a lot of fear about maybe packing up and moving homes. And I think maybe you've been waiting for somebody for a really long time is kind of what I'm feeling. You've been waiting for somebody to you know, move, uh, to release a negative attachment, to break free from some addictions. Maybe you have feared that this moment was never, ever going to come, but there's a lot of love here. And I think it's kind of time, you know, for this intimate connection to come together. So, you know, I think there's going to be a major ending. Maybe you're dealing with somebody going through a divorce. Maybe you're going through a divorce. Maybe you were in a foundation purely for materialism, a, a negative attachment, addictions here, codependencies, and somebody I think is working through fear. There is a big loss here. There is a broken ring. There is no more working things out on this end because, you know, somebody's going towards love. Wherever this person's been at, there's been no love. There's been extended grieving, holding on to something that's been long dead and gone, and somebody is getting ready to move. They're disconnecting from this very toxic situation in order to kind of get right 
to get back on path because I think uh, either somebody's been waiting for you or you've been waiting for somebody to release, you know, some addictions. I think somebody has some substances that have been affecting their life. Maybe you're needing to show them compassion. I think somebody's been spiraling when it comes to some substance abuse, Aqua. Going through a divorce, maybe masking the pain of this divorce through addictive behaviors, through alcoholism, drug abuse. And I think you're going to need to show your person some compassion as they kind of regain control of their lives. So let's jump in with some tarot and see uh, what other messages need to come through. Yeah, get ready for a lot of communication. I think there's been blocks when it comes to communication because somebody's been going through a divorce and ending here in order for a new beginning. Somebody is closing out a major karmic cycle, learning a major lesson. Somebody made a very poor judgment call in the past. It was a bad investment secrets, lies, cheating, stealing, and somebody's, you know, entering into a period of healing. There's going to be a lot of communication after a period of blocked communication, I feel. After somebody finalizes a divorce, finalizes an ending, and, and you know, um, starts building from that ground zero. Wow. Wow. Definitely a bad judgment call, bad investment here. So let's see what else needs to come through for you, Aquarius. King of Cups reversed. Oh my God, the fool. So yeah, somebody's definitely not emotionally invested in something here. Um, they've been resistant to this change with the death reverse. There is a brand new beginning here. Somebody's taken a leap of faith. Maybe something you thought was dead long and gone is coming back from the dead. I'm not sure. You could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I am feeling strong cancer and strong Scorpio. We also have uh, the Fool here. Definitely an ending. Two people not on the same page. Um, definitely the end of third party energy without a doubt with the lovers reversed. Get ready to receive a lot of communication when it comes to an ending. Something is crumbling apart. Somebody's not been emotionally invested in this situation. Um, definitely two people that don't see eye to eye anymore. Oh my gosh, there's been a lot of power struggles, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. I think there's been secrets here. There's about to be a major tower coming in because somebody's breaking the chains of a very toxic situation. They're breaking this addiction apart. There's going to be a major soul contract coming to a close because it's time. Something's crumbling to the ground because there was secrets here. I think somebody's secretly been missing somebody from the past that they did have a deep intimate connection with somebody's definitely highly thinking of you and they're in a they're in a foundation that's riddled with materialism greed a lot of lies a lot of secrets and that's coming to a close it's over no more working together there's no more love here maybe there's a lot of memories here but somebody is getting ready uh, for an awakening of some sort a revelation an aha moment a lot of truth a lot of divine truth about a missed opportunity that somebody I think has been hiding, hiding this grief on their heart. And they've been battling the head and the heart and there's about to be a major shakeup. This is coming to a complete end because it's not working out. Somebody's definitely been playing into some ego desires in a situation where there's no more working together. There's no harmony, there's no growth, there's no sense of community. And it's kind of time to learn this lesson. Uh, somebody's hitting rock bottom. Definitely in a foundation where a snake got in the mix. I think there's been a lot of arguing without a doubt. And somebody's ready to put that, that battle behind them. They want stability in their life. They've been dealing with a very jealous, possessive, angry, feminine energy that really has not been loving them correctly. There's been lies. Somebody's dealing with a bitch is what I think. A very vengeful, vindictive, angry, possessive, jealous bitch who really doesn't love them. And it's been a block to this brand new beginning is kind of what I see. Somebody's definitely at that rock bottom with that tower and that nine of wands, uh, learning a lesson about some addictive behaviors. Somebody's lacked the strength to break free, but I think a lot of truth is coming forward. Whatever was hidden is coming to light. And there's going to be an ending here. So let's see what this King of Cups reversed is all about. The lovers reversed. 
the Three of Cups reversed and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's been putting in the work in a foundation where there's no love. Third party interference. The party's over. They're breaking free. Unexpected choice in love. It isn't working out. Somebody wants to put the work in somewhere else where they are emotionally invested, where there is intimacy involved. Somebody's lost all kinds of passion in a connection. They were under the veil of illusion and somebody's getting a major wake-up call because something's being illuminated probably around that Pisces new moon. There was something that came out. I think there's anger here. Somebody is angry, angry, angry over a missed opportunity, wanting to kind of rebalance the situation. A lot of anger here, aggression, a lot of fighting, a lot of fighting. Um, What are you fighting for? Because this isn't even working out. So let's see what this death reversed is all about. Seven of Swords, the star, Ten of Wands, healing a longstanding burden. Um, you know, somebody's been resistant to this ending, um, you know, resistant to going towards wish fulfillment. Um, Aquarian energy, there is going to be healing here. Somebody is releasing a burden. Although they've been holding on tight, uh, they've been holding on really, really tight. Uh, it's kind of time to speak up. There's been somebody haunted in the mind space when it comes to some secrets, some lies, maybe sneaking away, walking away, um, wanting to go back to something from the past that maybe they thought was dead and gone. Definitely an ending here because maybe it's time to birth this brand new life. It's definitely time for the wheel to spin you both forward because you got a divine counterpart on your path is kind of what I'm feeling. And it's kind of time for this faded turn of events kind of time to cut through the illusions to cut through the fog to make amends for the past for any past manipulation if you are to start brand new get ready for an exciting offer to come forward after somebody goes through a period of redemption i think somebody's facing some challenges that they're needing to overcome when it comes to some karmic repercussions when it comes to you know blocking their emotions on their heart there's definitely some betrayal here, um, and I think there's a major ending in order for a new beginning. So, the Two of Cups reversed. We got the Four of Wands, the Prince of Cups, and the Chariot. Somebody is quickly coming in with a love offer. Somebody's coming in with an offer, an apology, coming in very, very quickly, wanting that victory, wanting that success. Somebody's getting in the driver's seat and leaving a connection behind where they don't see eye to eye anymore because it's been a connection where they've been spiraling through all of these addictive, unhealthy patterns. And maybe somebody's been going within to learn this lesson, but I think somebody's getting ready to come out of hiding because there's this new passion being reignited, a new spark, a new flame. Somebody sees a new opportunity for love, and I do think maybe this does feel like a betrayal when it comes to an ending. But somebody wants victory at any cost, and somebody, I think, is done watering a dead tree. I don't think there's any growth there. I think somebody's been at the crossroads for quite some time, and it's cost them financially, you know, you know, resisting to walking away from something that's not working, and it's definitely cost them financially. I think a lot of financial burdens here, without a doubt, uh, but there is going to be a brand new beginning in love. There's a heart chakra awakening because somebody here is gaining a lot of enlightenment, a new shift in perspective, and somebody is preparing to, you know, to pack up and move homes. So you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Virgo, Gemini, but I think victory, you know, is around the corner. Once you pack up and move homes and stop staying stuck at the crossroads, I think somebody walked away from you in the past and they want to come back around. And maybe they fear they don't have much to offer you. I don't think they're very grounded. I don't think they're stable. I don't even know that they're loyal, to be honest. There's definitely been some disloyalty here when it comes to a new beginning in love. But uh, let's see what this Five of Wands is all about. Because somebody's been playing into this arguing energy. I think somebody, you know, has a fear of commitment. I think somebody, you know, fears giving up their independence and... There's been blocks to this brand new offer coming in. Maybe somebody, you know, has been blocking your person from coming forward, really trying to, you know, stop them from bringing forward, you know, an offer to you. Fresh new energy. Uh, maybe there's going to be some exposure. Maybe a child's going to say something and that's going to expose something when it comes to a karmic cycle that is needing to come to a complete close. But 
You know, pages is fresh new energy. You're going to have to start from ground zero. It's going to take a lot of hard work to rebuild a foundation. But wherever somebody's been at, there's been betrayal. It's felt like a burden. Somebody's carried this for a very long time. And, and I think it's just kind of time to gather your emotions, to get in the driver's seat, and to go in a new direction because there's an ending here, a divorce, in order for a new committed partnership to come forward. So, you know, this is wish fulfillment, and somebody definitely made a poor judgment call in the past. There was a bad investment in the past, and uh, somebody here has lost all their passion for a very toxic situation, and I think they want to come back for a missed opportunity from the past. So let's see what this high priest is. Four of Cups, Ace of Swords is all about. Princess of Swords reversed. Drop in all defenses. Somebody's going to deliver a message that somebody isn't going to want to hear. The truth is coming out. There were secrets here. There were lies. This is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And you might not want to hear it. You might not want to hear it, but I think somebody's definitely been grieving over a missed opportunity. And they want to go back to the past. They want to return to the past because they don't see any other options but the past that is haunting them. And I think somebody's paying back some karma when it comes to some manipulation, some non-committal, some ghosting, and definitely going through a huge tower when it comes to a foundation. And they're not going to be able to rebuild wherever they're at. It's kind of time for that clean slate to go in a new direction because, you know, this connection here is going to grow into something stable. And I think maybe you've turned your back. But there's a faded turn of events coming, and you do have a lot of protection. So get ready to face some challenges when it comes to a partnership that will lead to a higher level of commitment. A divorce leading to an engagement in another direction is kind of what I'm feeling. So, uh, yeah, I think somebody's been dealing with somebody that makes them feel small, that, you know, uh, belittles them. And there's somebody here getting ready to choose somebody that will will support them where they have an intimate connection, where there is a lot of love. So let's see what else, what else Spirit has for you. Yeah, I think healthy boundaries need to be drawn, especially when it comes to any attachments or addictive behaviors. Healthy boundaries are in focus. So somebody's been overthinking this situation. Somebody's been playing into obsessions, addictions, unhealthy patterns and there is going to be a major release um somebody is getting ready to instill some boundaries to try a different approach and there's definitely been somebody going through a very tough situation a very challenging situation going through a period of recovery because if they don't get ready to pack up and move and leave on their own they're about to get thrown out definitely a lot of illusions are being shattered um, somebody's been in an illusion, living in fantasy land, and, you know, they're about to break free, um, working through all kinds of mental clutter, breaking free from all kinds of negative influences, and finally ready to acknowledge and heal from the past. So, you know, get ready. Your path is being illuminated, and you might not have had all the information up until now. I think you've been patient, and somebody's trying to find their strength, their courage, and their bravery to do this, uh, to do this, to come forward and to do this. So get ready for a shift, because um, the outcome is going to be prosper prosperous. No matter how this change is coming in, it really is positive change for the better. So get ready, Aqua. That's kind of what I got for you. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a twin flame reading with me, please feel free to check out that description box below, Aquarius, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.